Hello everyone, I'm teacher Lavenda and I'm currently teaching green and orange class. In green class I have first year students and in orange class I have both first and second year students. In my classes, I try to make the classes as engaging as possible. Um, I try to introduce the I try to introduce the children to concepts in such a way that they meet them in as natural a setting as I can create, so that when they have to use the information they've learned in real life, it's not as jarring and they're able to run with it. I also noticed that the children do not like learning from behind a desk, so as much as I possibly can, I try to remove them from the desks if I can, and where possible get them moving at least so that they're able to shuffle and just not be sitting in one place when they're learning something. Well, that's pretty much how I run my classes, and looking forward to seeing your children in my classes next year. <laughs> Or a sentence race. Are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Purple team, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green team, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, we know how this works. Okay, the first sentence is R. How will you get to the hotel? I'll go on foot. I'll go on foot. Very good. Can you go find the hotel and feed? Ooh, very good. Go find the feet on the other table, Gio. Because you're going to the hotel on foot. All right. Good job, Gio. Where are you going, Gio? I'm going to the hotel. How will you get to the hotel, Gio? On? On foot. Very good. Two points for Gio. Who's next? Me. Kevin. Kevin, you're next. All right, Kevin. Are you ready, Kevin? I like cars. You like the car? Yeah. All right, so let's try and get I you like somewhere the using the car. Uh, I like hotel. You like the hotel? Very good. We cover our mouths when we cough, my darling. Very good. All right, Kevin, where are you going, Kevin? Where are I'm you going, going to? to the Home. I'm going home. I'm going home. Good job, Kevin. And how will you get home, Kevin? By, By car. By car. Where are you going to, Kevin? I'm, I'm going, going to home. home. I'm, I'm going go home. I'm going home. And how will you get there? By, By car. 
Very good. Can you go and find your home over there and the car and tell us where you're going to and how you'll get there? Baby, baby, baby. Where are you going to, Kevin? I'm going to the home. I'm going home. I'm going home. And how will you get there, Jacob and Wyatt? And how will you get there? Yes. How will you get there? By? By car. Good job, my darling. Two points for Kevin. Who's next? <coughs> Who's next? Jacob, are you ready? Here's Kevin. Here's another. Oh, this is Kevin's and this is Gio's. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Good job, boys. High five. High five, Kevin. Yeah. High five, Jacob. High five, Gio. High five, high five, high five. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. I'm teacher Cindy and I also teach six years old. Um, most of my students are first year English students. And what that means is that this is the first time in their learning journey that they are fully immersed in English classes and actively learning to speak English. So my learning objective for the six years old is to develop and strengthen, it, strengthen their English speaking and listening skills. And we achieve this goal through constant active learning throughout the day. Our students are encouraged to speak English. And so some of my students are actually quite new. They came in um, during the second semester of school, but even then they are encouraged to use whichever words they know in English to communicate. And I have a pretty simple learning philosophy and that is that learning should be fun and engaging. And so I have a lot of visual aids to help my students uh, conceptualize the topics that we're learning in class. And I, we also sing songs often and have uh, little dance parties and breaks and um, get to do a lot of fun activities throughout the day to help us uh, in learning English. And so the clip you're gonna see is just uh, what a typical lesson usually looks like in Kinterest. All right, so who is excited to learn today? Sylvan, Jaden, awesome. So boys and girls, how are you feeling today? Can you tell me how you're feeling today? How is he feeling today? Sleepy. Sleepy. So he is sleepy. He is sleepy. He is sleepy. Very good. And boys and girls, how do you think he feels today? He's happy. He's happy. Very nice. Are you happy? Are you happy? No. Yeah. Do you want? I want to see four, five strawberries. Yes, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Very nice. All right, boys and girls, now play with your friends. Ask your friends, are you hungry? Are you hungry? No. Are you You're not hungry? Are you hungry? Are you together? Are you thirsty? Are you Hello, my name is Ashley Jensen. I am the pink and violet class teacher, which is the seven-year-old group here at Kinderest. My teaching philosophy is that every child is an individual and it is our job as a teacher to help foster and grow kids' individual strengths and help them bring them up in their weaknesses as well. In today's lesson, you are going to see us doing compare and contrasting. For the seven-year-olds, we focus a lot on speaking, reading, and writing components. And this lesson, we will be looking at comparing and contrasting so that children can get a broad idea and a very individualized, specific idea of what's going on in the story. Let's have Zion and Bolt read one of theirs to us, everybody. Let's listen. Zion and Bolt, read it to us. Ready? Go. The hot, the hot air balloon could get the hole. All right, Zion and Bolt, wait. Who said the hot air balloon could get a hole? Go. Very good. So come put it up for. Very good. All right. Let's have Ryan, Elroy, and Kevin H pick one and read it to us. Ready? Go. A big train is us. A big train is scary. Go. Scary. Both. Who said a big trip is scary? Both. 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 No, I'll write it down. Full sentence, please. They, they think they both, they both think the big trip is scary. All right, come put it on the board, please. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Very good. Alright. Class class, should we do one more each? Yes. 